Hello, I'm James, amateur radio call sign WA7JNJ. Here uh, just after work on a Wednesday night. Uh, it's my kids' last day of school and a gorgeous evening here in Washington State, just down the street, a little bit from my house on a trail overlooking the Puget Sound. And I thought I'd share a quick video. I haven't done a, a, a format like this before, but thought I'd uh, take just a few minutes to share some thoughts and some learnings that I've had over time, and I wanna do this a little bit more in the future. What inspired me to do this today is had a great conversation on the way home from work. Uh, with someone who made their first soda activation, their first Summit on the Air activation today. And that was awesome to hear. They got the four contacts, loved it, and had a great time on VHF. And so great to hear the chasers supporting somebody new on a Summit on the Air activation. And uh, was very, uh, just happened to, to contact and chat with the person this afternoon and asked a very uh, just real question uh, on a question about the radio. And, and, and so I'll share the question. Uh, he said he had uh, had his radio set up and used a roll up J pole and a fiberglass antenna and was making a, uh, some contacts and getting out. And somebody told him he probably uh, should be hearing some other stations because there were a lot of other people calling uh, for him and trying to make contact with him. And so uh, he mentioned the radio that he was using and it was a Baofeng and, and I said, you know, I can relate because that was my very first Summit on the Air experience. I used the equipment that I had. I used a Baofeng and an aero antenna up on Mount Erie and made my four contacts and squeaked it out. But someone told me the exact same thing that I should be hearing other stations that I wasn't. And so I thought I'd share this quick video today on uh, when you know it's time to upgrade your HT um, is when you're on a summit and you realize you're not listening or hearing everybody that you should be. And so that was the very first thing I learned with Summits on the Air. And I will say a little bit of background. What's kind of humorous is in this same week, I told someone to buy a, quote, cheap Chinese radio um, just because they were new to the hobby, getting licensed, learning about frequencies and how it works and for the price you really have to do that to start. I know that's what I did, and I've got a bunch of Baofengs and other radios that are cheaper. I learned about frequencies, how to program, how to listen to repeaters, and, and do contacts, and that's perfect. I'm still surprised how much greater they are than when uh, the GMRS or the Bubble Pack Motorola radios. Uh, when I went from those to a Baofeng, I was shocked, and I'm still shocked at times what I can do with a Baofeng. But when you're on a summit and you're really trying to make contacts and it's really important that you hear everybody, um, either from the interference on the summit, having good filtering and or just the sensitivity of your receiver, it's important. Uh, so what I did and what I recommended, um, for somebody new this week, I recommended a cheap radio, but uh, for the person today, I said, you know, that was the first thing I learned and I would recommend that you do uh, look at getting an upgraded radio. Uh, what I know a lot of folks use um, is the Yesu FT60. It's around $150, probably the cheapest maybe on sale. It's an older model Yesu, uh, but it's a quality super heterodyne receiver and a good option that a lot of folks use. I know I found a sale when I uh, first was doing soda and I immediately after my first activation bought the Yesu FT70 DR. And I did that because it I had the digital modes and a system fusion so I could use it on our club repeater and make contacts there. Uh, so that's a great radio. I recommend you get another battery if you do purchase that. And a lower cost option that I would recommend is the ICOM V86. I've had a lot of great experience with that. Uh, if you're looking for a single band radio and someone uh, that's been tested on summits on the air, I know Tim uh, KG7EJT uses one of those and I've used it and trusted that. Uh, that's probably the lowest cost option that I would look at using. Uh, so those are a few ideas uh, for radios and just a recommendation when you're, uh, I know for me when I realized, okay, the limits of my Baofeng and its ability to hear, I really had to upgrade the radio. Uh, I hope that makes sense. And with some of those options, a quick channel update. I've uh, been, after making videos for three years, uh, did apply for an affiliate with Rockland and I've had a lot of great uh, experience with them ordering a lot of parts 
with Meshtastic. So if you're interested in Meshtastic and want to support the channel, uh, purchasing through Meshtastic link on my website or the I'm saying the Rockland link on my website, uh, it's one way that you can help support the channel. I'll put some links uh, for the radios that I mentioned to Amazon. I just signed up for an affiliate there. So again, it's affiliate link and uh, just trying that out and seeing it as an option again for small ways to support the channel. Wouldn't recommend necessarily that you buy these specific radios from Amazon. I'd look at uh, Ham Radio Outlet or DX Engineering or Arundel or some other great options for getting your uh, actual radios. Uh, but those are a few ideas and sharing ways that you can support the channel. I um, hope you like the format and just this way of sharing information, some of the learning that I've had and, and uh, timely as we kick off summer and a lot more folks getting out for summits and summits on the air for the first time. 73, thanks for watching from WA7, J&J. &J.